Okay, right now I'm in one of the most magical, special places on the planet. Probably my favorite place on the planet. This is where monarch butterflies migrate and spend their winter. Tens of millions. This year, up to 140 million of them are here in this area of Mexico. And I'm hiking, we're at 10,500 feet, a little out of breath, but what we're about to experience is not just visually stunning, it's not just emotionally stunning, it is also oddly, I don't know the word, it sounds absolutely magic because you've never heard before the sound of tens of millions of butterflies flying around you because it only happens here. It's one of the rarest sounds on earth. You're about to get a listen. First, we gotta get there. Our journey by van took us from the highways to the countryside to the horses. Our ride was exciting, getting hints of the millions of monarchs ahead as we went. First, clusters on the flowers, then several in the air. But trust me, it gets even better. Now, one of the first things you notice when you arrive and you're looking down to find your way is this. The thousands of butterflies who made that 1500 mile journey down here only to not survive the winter. It's easy to be distraught by this, but look up and see what you're surrounded by. You see those clusters hanging from the trees? If you look closely, you'll see that those aren't pine cones or leaves. Those are all monarch butterflies. And you see that fuzz on the trunks of the trees? You guessed it, those are all butterflies too. And a single trunk can have tens of thousands of monarchs on it. There's this moment when you get to the right part of the forest and you realize you've made it. You're officially surrounded by millions of butterflies. I want you to think about the last time you saw a single butterfly flying. You likely noticed its color, but its sound? It's not until you're surrounded by millions of butterflies that you can hear each flapping wing amplified by another. On this morning, this cluster of butterflies is too cold to take off and fly. Butterflies, like most insects, are ectothermic, meaning their metabolism and energy is entirely dependent on the heat of the sun. So they wait the sunshine hitting them and warming up, and we'll sit and wait with them. Ooh, hang on. Okay, let's get this thing recording. To really hear the sound of millions flying, we'll wait for what we call a waterfall. It's like this. Now that you've had a chance to listen to them, let's learn about them. So right now they're getting sun. They're absorbing that energy so they can go down and drink nectar in the wildflowers below and mate. These monarch butterflies are having a pretty good year. 
their numbers are up 140% from last year. And while that's still considerably lower than just two decades ago, it hints at their resilience if we just give them a little help. So what can we do? Well, planting native milkweed and native wildflowers is a great first place to start. We need to restore their habitat expanding through North America so that not only can they survive the winter here, but they can survive the entire spring, summer, and fall that they spend in the United States and Canada. But for now, I will leave you with this thought here. The sound of millions of monarch butterflies flying around is a world treasure, and we need to protect this incredible species for generations to come.